In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use a sweep with a guide curve. I'll create this part from scratch. On the top plane, I'm going to create a straight line, and this is going to be used as the path. I'll exit the sketch and create another sketch on the top plane that starts from the same location at the origin goes maybe a little further then uses an arc. These are two separate sketches. Now on the front plane, I'll draw a circle. I'm going to start by drawing it off of the origin, although that's where I eventually want to put it. And then I'm going to put a center line from the center of the circle to the circle itself, making sure not to get a horizontal or vertical relationship. I want to pick up the center of the circle and then control select the path. The sketch relationship that becomes available is the Pierce relation. Pierce relation is the only sketch relation that applies out of the sketch plane. So as this circle is swept down the line, the Pierce relation will be evaluated at every point. Let's do it again between the end of the construction line and the arc. If the arc doesn't touch the plane that the circle is in, then the Pierce relation will fail. To create the sweep, we first exit the sketch and start the sweep command. In this case, we're going to select a profile, and then a path, and then a guide curve. The guide curve is going to control the outer shape of the feature. In this case, this feature could have also been made with a revolve. I'm going to delete the feature, reuse those sketches, and I'm going to add a sketch. This time on the right plane, I'll create another arc, and I'm careful not to pick up a relationship to the circle. I'll make this one bulge out. Now, because a circle only has one parameter that can change, that being the radius, if I try to control it with two guide curves, there's going to be a conflict between the guide curves. So, I want to have the profile sketch of this circle at the end of the list of sketches, so that sketch 3 that has the circle comes after the new sketch I just added. going to delete the circle and create instead an ellipse. With an ellipse, you click the center, drag one axis, and then click and drag the other axis. Again, I'll put a pierce relationship with the path, and then a pierce relationship with one guide curve, and another pierce relationship with the second guide curve. This way, SolidWorks can control both axes and distort the ellipse as it goes along the path. Let's take a look at how this works. Again, we need to exit the sketch, create a sweep with a profile, a path, and then guide curves will have two. So when we look at it from this side, it bulges out. When we look at it from this direction, it bulges in. And that is basically what you need to know about a sweep with two guide curves. You can create sweeps with more complicated paths. That is a path that's more complicated than a straight line. You can, as you saw in the last lesson, create a sweep from 3D path. 3D paths are difficult to add guide curves to. It's much easier with a 2D path.